So after you pass the first initial interview where they get to know you, talk a little about what you did, your experience, all of that, see if you're even fit to test. You will see the Android technical interview right after that, and it can come in many shapes and sizes. In this video, I'm going to outline all the shapes I've seen it come in, uh, and I've made a document about it. I really love taking notes with this application, as you've noticed uh, lately. So this is another one. So this is the many faces of the Android technical interview. First, it can come off just like you saw in the previous video with the real Big Bang Corp. Uh, one hour, 30 minutes session where they just ask you questions. What do you think of this? What do you think of that? What is the answer to this? What is the answer to that? You see them all in this video and they show you some code. What's this going to do? What's this going to print? This is going to be their final assessment of you. There's, that's all they're going to use. One hour, 30 minutes. They're going to go off of that. There's not going to be a follow up one. There might be a follow up one if you and another candidate are so good and you did so well together on both of them, then they might maybe send you an assignment or something like that so that they can really figure out who's the best. I've not seen that happen. I, I've seen the decision come out of only that interview and it's sufficient for them. And I believe in this method. I like it. As you can see in the video, I approved it. I like the questions. I believe it's a good, it's a good way to uh, question a candidate. Another way is solve this assignment. You've seen this probably, of course. They just send you an assignment. Hey, you're familiar with Spotify, right? So here's an application we kind of half did, and we need you to continue it and do one, two, three, four requirements. It needs to do caching, needs to be responsive, updates in real time, resilience, error handling. There's a bunch more down here. This is just a screenshot here. You can find the repository with the whole list of questions, requirements, and the solution. I've solved it uh, very well, this one. This got me into the company, actually. It was a really good solution. I'm proud of it. So you can check it out. That's one way, which is very common. I agree with this way as well. I like it. This is another way. They share with you a repository, and this is the code we wrote. It's bad code. They want to see what you think of it. Does it follow best practices? Why? Why not? What can you do better? Anything else you find wrong with it? What do you think about this one? What do you think about that one? They have like things they plant on purpose to see what you're going to say about them. Recycler view, for example, and they have two recycler views <laughs> inside each other. Why should this not happen? I don't agree with this method. I think it is weak. It doesn't tell anything, but I've seen it before. It happened in my company where we use this to review someone's performance. I, I didn't agree that it was good. Then you get to this one. You can if they trust you, if they really like you, and this has happened to me, everybody likes me, everyone likes me. Show us your GitHub, whatever, all of that. Don't show your GitHub in a way where it's, hey, here's my GitHub, take a look. You don't, first of all, have all your repositories uh, lined up in the way that you want to show them. You have them all over the place. Don't just share your GitHub like, yeah, take a look at my GitHub. No, care about it. So I've made yet another document where I show off the projects I want to show off in exactly the order that I would like to show them off in. So I have this project that's mentioned in the CV as I'm rewriting it, and that's true. Uses compose, blah, 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 all this stuff. And I have a little demo of what it does. This one I like to show off because I did some other fancy stuff here where I wrote the network layer from scratch, right? Uses RX. This shows that not only do I know coroutines, I also know RX. Spotify, this is the same assessment you saw. Then there's another one. This one I used one, two, three. I'm also want to show this stuff because I've worked with it. I know how to do it, right? This is yet another one. This is just a toy project I made with a friend. He helped me with it. There's some stuff I was curious about, about the tri data structure. And I went off and did that for like two, three days, came out with some nice conclusions. I want to show that I know pure Kotlin as well. You can show whatever you like, you know, it's your kind of story. But uh, yeah, I would take care to tailor what they're going to see, not just here's my GitHub, you know, that's my, my take on it. Then you're going to have a follow up interview on your code that you showed. They're going to say, why do you use this one here? Why do you do that one there? You're going to have to explain yourself. 
in a follow-up interview, of course. But this was uh, orange because it can be difficult because you might not know what to show. You might show the wrong thing. You might, uh, oh no, that's not what I meant. Oh, it's a tricky one. So it's, this one's like green because it's super easy. It's useless. This one can go a whole different million ways. You got seven days here. You're going to spend them all coding. They might not like it. They might say no. It's this one's tricky. It can be really good. It could be really bad. What else did I color? This one is a solid orange. It's pretty difficult. It's a good one, right? Yeah, this would be just like the first one. Next, this is the final one that I've seen, which of course all of you know. Here you already passed the first interview, which is, hey, how are you? What do you do? What's your experience? What are you looking for? And you're on to the business phone screen. This is what they call it. So you have one hour live coding. You're going to go to lead code and they're going to tell you, hey, our problems are most likely going to be the stuff you find on lead code, but medium to hard difficulty. This is going to be one hour. This is the second stage. And if you pass this one, this one, if you don't pass it, bam, next month, next six months, you can't apply anymore. You're out, right? This one is a do or die. So this one, if you pass it, you get onto the final stage. Another interview, algorithms and data structures. This is really hardcore stuff. One hour, not just like lead code. This is going to be some problem that the interviewer is going to create from their head. And they're going to say, hey, what do you think of this one? How would you do it? You have to solve it. It has to work. It cannot be an estimate. It must work. And they're going to ask so many follow up questions. They're going to say like, hey, yeah, what about now when you have a million uh, input array or whatever? They're going to create stuff to see how the, your, the extent of your knowledge goes. Then you're going to have a second interview. This is about what you claim to know already. So you're coming in as an Android developer, for example. Okay, let's do an interview about just Android, not algorithms and data structures. Okay, just Android. You finish that. Here go systems design and architecture. They're going to ask you something like, uh, suppose we want to build a new Twitter and we have to have this requirement where uh, users also can stream themselves. It's like Twitch plus Twitter, right? Something like that. It's a new problem that doesn't exist. They're going to create it from their head. Explain to me how you would design this program. What would be the database schema? Well, how many servers would you need? Uh, depending on how much uh, users are going to use it. Say a million users are going to use it tomorrow. How would you set up the servers? This is also like really hardcore stuff. You know, you have to know this for these companies specifically, not anyone else. No one else is going to ask about this stuff except these companies and the ones that are like them. So Uber, Booking.com, you know, the San Francisco and Co. Those kind of people. So they like this stuff. I agree with this method. I think it's amazing to test in this way. I haven't passed it yet, but you know, I can appreciate it. I like it. I like uh, difficult things. The fourth one, collaboration and leadership. I don't know what's in this one. Maybe you pair program with some other person and uh, uh, they ask you, for example, your colleague uh, is facing a problem and they're not performing well. What do you do? Just one hour of this stuff, you know? I'm, on, I'm not sure what's in this one, but I, that's what I predict. And that's it. That's all the kinds of uh, weird stuff you're going to see out there. Enjoy the document. I'm going to link to it in the video description and you can check this out. This is a public repo. I don't have any sample code for this one. And you do, you do have access as well to this project showcase. You can look at it, copy it. Don't copy the actual content. Just change it, you know? <laughs> yeah, that's it. See you in the next one.